Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to support projects in SAP SD sales and distribution interviews. 1. What is the role of the SAP SD support consultant in a support project? Answer. The SAP SD support consultant is responsible for resolving issues, providing technical assistance, and ensuring the smooth functioning of SAP SD processes in an ongoing support environment. 2. How do you prioritize and categorize support tickets in SAP SD? Answer. Support tickets are prioritized based on their impact on business operations. Common categories include critical issues affecting business continuity, urgent issues, and routine support requests. 3. Explain the incident management process in SAP SD support. Answer. Incident management involves logging, categorizing, prioritizing, and resolving incidents reported by end users. It follows a structured process to ensure timely and effective issue resolution. 4. What is the significance of a service level agreement SLA in SAP SD support? Answer. SLAs define the expected response and resolution times for different priority levels of support tickets. They ensure that support teams adhere to agreed upon timelines for issue resolution. 5. How do you handle critical issues impacting SAP SD processes in a support project? Answer. Critical issues are addressed with urgency. The support team follows a predefined escalation process, involves key stakeholders, and works collaboratively to resolve critical issues promptly. 6. Explain the role of root cause analysis RCA in SAP SD support. Answer. RCA is conducted to identify the underlying causes of recurring issues. It involves a systematic investigation to prevent the reoccurrence of similar problems in SAP SD processes. 7. How do you coordinate with other SAP modules in a support project? Answer. Collaboration with other SAP modules, such as MM and FI, is essential for end-to-end -end issue resolution. Regular communication and cross-functional understanding help address inter-module dependencies. 8. What tools and resources do you use for SAP SD support? Answer. SAP Solution Manager, Incident Tracking Systems, Knowledge Databases, and Collaboration Platforms are commonly used tools. Resources include SAP documentation, community forums, and internal knowledge bases. 9. How do you manage user expectations in SAP SD support? Answer. Effective communication is key to managing user expectations. Providing regular updates, setting realistic timelines, and managing stakeholder expectations contribute to a positive support experience. 10. Explain the role of a support ticket tracking system in SAP SD. Answer. A support ticket tracking system records and tracks the progress of support tickets. It helps in prioritizing, assigning, and monitoring the status of issues reported by end users. 11. How do you handle a situation where a support ticket requires input from multiple teams? Answer. Coordination between teams is crucial. The support consultant acts as a liaison, ensures clear communication, and facilitates collaboration to address the issue comprehensively. 12. What preventive measures can be taken to reduce the number of support tickets in SAP SD? Answer. Preventive measures include user training, documentation improvement, regular system health checks, and implementing best practices to minimize errors and issues in SAP SD processes. 13. Explain the role of continuous improvement in SAP SD support. Answer. Continuous improvement involves analyzing support processes, identifying areas for enhancement, and implementing changes to optimize the efficiency and effectiveness of SAP SD support activities. 14. How do you handle support tickets related to pricing issues in SAP SD? Answer. Pricing issues may involve master data, condition records, or configuration errors. The support consultant conducts a detailed analysis, checks configuration settings, and ensures data consistency. 
15. What is the process for applying SAP notes in a support project? Answer. SAP notes are applied to address software issues or provide enhancements. The process involves downloading relevant SAP notes, verifying prerequisites, and applying them using transaction code, SNOTE. 16. Explain the importance of knowledge transfer in SAP SD support. Answer. Knowledge transfer involves sharing expertise within the support team. It ensures that team members are well equipped to handle a variety of SAP SD issues and promote skill development. 17. How do you handle a situation where an end user reports a system performance issue in SAP SD? Answer. System performance issues may involve hardware, network, or configuration issues. The support consultant collaborates with the basis team, conducts performance analysis, and implements necessary optimizations. 18. What is the process for creating and managing change requests in SAP SD support? Answer. Change requests involve requesting changes to the SAP system, such as configuration updates or enhancements. They follow a formal process, including documentation, testing, and approval. 19. Explain the role of end-user training in SAP SD support. Answer. User training in support projects helps users understand how to use SAP SD effectively and minimizes the occurrence of recurring issues. It promotes self-sufficiency among end-users. 20. How do you handle support tickets related to order processing errors in SAP SD? Answer. Order processing errors may be due to master data issues or configuration errors. The support consultant analyzes the order data, checks master data consistency, and addresses configuration issues. 21. What strategies do you employ for knowledge management in SAP SD support? Answer. Knowledge management involves creating and maintaining a repository of solutions, best practices, and FAQs. Regular knowledge sharing sessions and documentation updates contribute to effective knowledge management. 22. How do you keep up to date with the latest SAP SD releases and updates? Answer. Staying informed involves accessing SAP documentation, attending training sessions, participating in SAP forums, and subscribing to newsletters. Collaboration with the SAP community helps in staying current. 23. Explain the role of a support team in handling system upgrades in SAP SD. Answer. Support teams play a crucial role in system upgrades. They conduct impact assessments, test critical business processes, and provide post-upgrade support to address any issues. 24. How do you ensure data security and privacy in SAP SD support? Answer. Data security measures include role-based access control, encryption, and adherence to data privacy regulations. The support team ensures that sensitive data is handled securely. 25. Explain the process of regression testing in SAP SD support. Answer. Regression testing involves testing previously working functionalities after a change or update to ensure that existing processes are not negatively impacted. It helps maintain system stability. 26. How do you handle support tickets related to credit management issues in SAP SD? Answer. Credit management issues may involve credit checks, credit limits, or blocked orders. The support consultant reviews configuration settings, checks master data, and adjusts credit management parameters. 27. What measures do you take to minimize system downtime during support activities? Answer. Minimizing system downtime involves planning support activities during non-business hours, performing impact assessments, and utilizing system copies or sandbox environments for testing. 28. Explain the process of authorizations and access control in SAP SD support. Answer. Authorizations and access control involve defining and managing user roles and permissions. The support team ensures that users have the necessary access to perform their roles without compromising security. 29. How do you handle support tickets related to output determination issues in SAP SD? Answer. 
Output determination issues may involve form layouts, condition records, or communication methods. The support consultant reviews configuration settings, checks condition records, and tests output scenarios. 30. What strategies do you use for continuous skill development in SAP SD support? Answer. Continuous skill development involves attending training sessions, obtaining certifications, participating in SAP community events, and cross-training with other modules to broaden skill sets. These questions and answers provide insights into key aspects of SAP SD support projects. Covering incident management, collaboration, preventive measures, and continuous improvement. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.